purpose of this video is to demonstrate the use of the SpectroVis Plus or the GoDirect SpectroVis Plus in the General Chemistry Laboratory. You may find that you get a SpectroVis Plus one week and the following week maybe the GoDirect SpectroVis Plus. What we're trying to tell you is they are virtually the same and identical instrument. This one has a little bit more capability and can connect through uh, Bluetooth. We don't use that. It also can stand alone on, on its own out in the field with a battery. Again, we're not worrying about that. I've gone ahead and launched a student account on both of these systems. And what I'll do now is go ahead and connect the SpectroVis Plus through USB as well as the GoDirect through USB. What you'll see is nothing will actually show up here, but we're going to see lights on uh, the GoDirect SpectroVis Plus. It indicates that it's being powered through the USB. The power is on. This red light means that there's no battery attached, and that's fine. What you'll then do is, uh, on the SpectroVis Plus, we'll go ahead and we will launch Logger Pro. And we'll do the same over here. You should see a spectrograph coming up. You'll want, want to take yourself a uh, cuvette with your blank. In my case, the blank is distilled water because that's what I've got my blue and, and red dye dissolved in. Um, we'll go ahead and go over here to the experiment. Click on Calibrate Spectrometer. You may not see that on the video, but it's easy enough to see in the lab. And you'll notice it says, waiting 90 seconds for the lamp to warm up. You can skip the warm up if the uh, SpectraVis Plus has been attached for quite some time. In our case, uh, I am going to go ahead and skip it. You should not skip the warm up. Make sure you get the warm up on the SpectraVis Plus. It will tell you to place a blank cuvette in the device. My blank is already in there. With my blank solution, we'll click Finish Calibration. Give it a few seconds. And the OK button becomes active. And we click OK we're now ready to actually use the SpectraVis Plus. Let's pop on over here to the Go Direct. Again, we will go ahead and click Experiment and Calibrate Spectrometer. It will also give you a 90 second lamp warm up. You'll notice that I'm wiping down the sides of my cuvette with Kim Wipe to get any fingerprints off of it. And you'll see after a few seconds the skip warm up uh, is now active. Again, in your case, do not click skip warm up. Let it have that one, one and a half minute warm up time. And we'll finish the calibration with my blank sitting in the uh, SpectraVis Plus. And we'll click OK. The instruments, both of them are now ready to use. I'm going to go ahead and measure, let's take and measure the red over in the SpectraVis Plus. I'm going to go ahead and click in here. We're going to click on the green collect button. And after a few seconds, you'll see a spectra. You can go ahead and stop. Take out the red. I'm going to go ahead and put in the blue dye. And I can go ahead and click Collect. Dialog box says, do you want to store the latest run or do you want to erase and continue? I'm going to go ahead and store the latest run just so we can see the two spectra from both blue and red dye. I'm done. I'll click stop. Let's go on over to the go direct. Again, we'll take the red, pop it in its cell holder, click collect. You'll see a very similar curve popping up with the same wavelengths, uh, max absorbance and whatnot. I will take out the red. I'll take the blue. And we'll go ahead and click collect, store the latest run so we can compare the two. And you'll see very similar data between the two instruments. Okay, that is how you use either the SpectraVis Plus or the GoDirect SpectraVis Plus in the laboratory. Don't be concerned if you get one one week and another one the next week. They work identically. Thank you very much.